College in the fall. Gurudev, this is Dayal Krishna Prabhu. He, he, what name? Dayal Krishna. Krishna. He came first time last year to Hawaii Festival oh. and met your divine grace. And he's come again to see you. Good, very nice. And also over here, De Deva, she's come first time from Maui. <laughs> she came from Maui. She heard some Harikata and come all the way. Very nice. She said, My heart is open to you. What person? Just that you're very fallen, low, <laughs> seek your disciple, hopefully. It's a photo up. Thank you. I've been helping them. I'm doing the best I can. Otherwise, she could not get her, her fees. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm doing good. Yeah. Uh, he's huh? LA. You can do from front? Yeah. <laughs> Mangala Charnam Giti. Jagannath used to come running away from his temple. <laughs> Mahaprabhu used to become mad and want to embrace who is singing. Jadi Hridaya Sarasang Manaha Jadi Vilasu Kalasu Kutu Halam Avali Shuru Sada If you want to make your heart Saras Full of rush. If you want to know the sweet pastimes of Krishna, you must hear this Komal Pakant Padavali of Jayadeva We have published his book, Gita Govinda. Govinda. Those who are qualified. To read this book, they can read and they can see how high class of love is there. Then you can. We are going to discuss here Harikatha for seven days. So I want that we should pray to Nishingha Dev, Nishingha Kirtan. Not harmonium, Baja. There is uh, yeah. Where? Today, you could all Namong Padaya Gaura Prestaya Bhutale Sri Srimad Bhakti Pragyana Kesavaiti Nami Ati Matta Charitraya Swasitanan Chapalini Jeeva Dukhe Sadartaya Nama Prema Pradayi Banchakrovasya Kripa Sindhu Devacha Patitanam Pavaneo Vaishnaveo Namo Mahabhadanaya Krishna Prema Pradaya Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaura Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikaya Itadaya Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tadabhakta Yang Prabhrajanta Manu Petama Petakrityam Dvaipāyano viraha kātarya jurāva Putre ti tanmai taya taro moghinilu Taṁ sarva bhūtaliyam Tavai vāsmi, tavai vāsmi Na jivāma tarāvina Iti bhikāyā Taṁ nai māma chara Bhaktya Vihina 
First of all, in beginning, my millions of dandat pranam under the lotus feet of my spiritual guru, Parma Radha Nittalila Pravishta. Nupar Sishmat Bhakti Pragyan Kesogar Swami Maharaj. And same millions of Dandat Pranam in the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru, Nitya Leela Pravishta Om Vishnu Pal Sishmat Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. <coughs> this is my tenth time in Bejar. Each year I come everywhere and remind them for Krishna Bhajan. And they should not be weak. There should be always a song in bhakti. So I have told you part part of Brihat Bhagavat Amrit. Jnani Bhakta, Shuddha Bhakta, Premi Bhakta, Prempar Bhakta, Prematur Bhakta are more than that. Braja. In Braja also, Dasya, then Sakha, more than that. Vasal and more than that. And something more. Something more I have told. So you should know all these things. Also I have explained Raramanan Sambhat. Very soon it will come in the form of a book. Very soon. I will expand you Rupas, Rupsiksha. I have told you Sanatan Siksha. So many things. Almost everything I have explained. But even I have touched only Krishna Tattva is like an endless ocean. I have touched standing on the shore, not in sea. I, 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 and I want to give you even a particle of that, that your life should be happy. This year I thought, I should give you essence of Srimad Bhagavatam, written by Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Anyone has not done this? Especially, you should know that <coughs> the essence of whole Upanishad, there are about 1008 more than that Upanishads. Up Nish the the vidya, the knowledge who takes us to Krishna, that is called Upanishad. So there are so many. And the essence of all Upanishads is collected by Vyasadeva, it is called Brahma Sutra. But Brahma Sutra, we cannot understand. So many Rishis, Maharshi, 
like Sankaracharya, Ramanuja, Madhva, Vishnu Swami, Nimbadita and others. They have written commentary on this. But really, something lacking in them. Lacking in them. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and he fulfilled it. After that, he made himself commentary of that Brahma Sutra. No? Vyasadeva. Commentary to understand the meaning of Brahma Sutra. And that is called Srimad Bhagavatam. The Bhagavati is the essence of all Upanishad, Brahma Sutra and everything. In Garur Puran it has been written, Arthoyang Brahma Sutra Nam, Bharatarthan Vinirnaya, Gatri Bharsya Rupa Sau Vedartha Parajbhira. So Srivad Bhagavati is supreme. Among all the literature that Vyasa Dev did. So, our Sanat um, Bhakti Vinaya Thakur is telling Bodhiba Ekhani Jaha Tahai Ei Bhoy Pratishtha Sa Pache Dushto Kare. He is telling that I am going to tell something, to write something. But I am fearing, like Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami, when he was writing Chaitanya Charita Amrit, he was fearing. It is so high class that very rare persons are qualified to read this. So, what should I do? I should not write. But again he thought, if I am not writing all these things, then what will be? It will disappear from this world. For this world, all. these things. Also he thought, only like kokil, kaku birds. They text only the manjari and sweetness. Essence of mango, crow cannot, they don't like, they like only numerous, <laughs> very bitter. So if I am writing, then Sobhavata, naturally, naturally. Kokil, will, kokil means bhakta, they will read it. And crow, like minded person, they will not have interest in so. So I must write. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur is here. What to do? If I am writing, then Pratishtha will come. And for Vaishnav it is very bad thing. Ekatha Prakashnahi Karibo Boliya. I will not what, manifest this. Express this idea. This idea. Huh? What idea he is telling? So I was thinking like this that I should not manifest to tell this very secret things to others. But again I remember the wordings of my Gurudev. Hmm? Then I thought that if my Gurudev has ordered I must do. Hmm? Bhakti If I am not grateful, grateful, if I am not writing all these things, what my Guru Dev has order. ordered me, then I will be akritagya, ungrateful. ungrateful. So I must do it. So I uh, throw out my shame and I began to write.
or Gurudev or Vaishnavagan, if I have done any aparad, offense. offense, please forgive me. My Gurudev is Bipin Bihari Prabhu. In our parampara, Prabhupada has not given his name. Bhakti Vinod Thakur is given. Prabhupada was against these Goswamis. He put his feet on the head of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, who is like Gadadhar Pandit Radhika. So he could not tolerate. <laughs> what are you doing? Nonsense. You know that who is he? He is one of the Goswami, Gaurasakti Gadadhar, and he still you are keeping your feet on the head of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. He rebuked and he ran away from there. <laughs> but even Bhakti Vinod Thakur gave so much respect to his Gurudev. Bansi Badana Nanda, Bans Bansadhar. His Gurudev in the line of Bansi Badana Nanda, you know, he used to take very like a tree and to make so, a, like so a flu. person can lift it very hardly. Mm -hmm. and he can lift it very easily. Mm -hmm. Lord. So, I took the order of my Guru then on my head and then I began to write this Slok Bicharite. Or Guru Dev told that you should go on reading and try to understand. And Srimad Bhagavati is himself Krishna. Tamadi Devam Karuna Nidhanam Tamala Varnam Suhita Vataram Apar Sansar Samudra Shetam Bhajamahe Everything will come in your heart. So, I began to write. In the meantime, when I began to write, at once, not dream, at once Sarp Damodar came in my spurti, like Radhika, you have to see Krishna's spurti, Sachi Maya to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and really Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to come and take. So in the same way, yeah. oh, Sarp Damodar came and told, oh, you must do it. Take prominent slope, essence of the slopes of Srimad Bhagavatam. All Srimad Bhagavatam slopes are prominent. But even you should take the essence of all. And according to Sambandha, Avidheya, Prayuya. What is Sambandha to Krishna? All these things. Avidheya. What is Bhajan? Like Rupa Goswami had told, how 64 kinds of all this Abhidhya and Prayajan, Krishna Prayam is So select all these slopes according to subject and make a garland and this garland will give into to, in the hands of Radhika and Radhika will give it to <coughs> and Krishna will be very happy. He ordered me like this. Then, and after that, if you will do this, book will be very, very important. And all Vaishnav Samar, who wants Bhakti, oh, they will collect it and read it and do according to this. And then he told also, oh, I am explaining myself. First day, Slok Srimad Bhagavatam. Janma Dasya Jata Anvaya Adita Tasya Artho Abhigya Swarat Teni Brahma Ridaji Adi Kabe Muyanta Jat Surya Teju Bhad Nidangi Jat Vinaya Usar Goham Visha Dhamna Sain Nirat Hoko Sakta. So, this is Slok is important. Whole Srimad Bhagavatam in this. 
all the Srimad Bhagavans, all Lila Katha, part kinds of Krishna, all Tattva in this. But it is so good. Confidential. Huh? Confidential. Confidential. It is Gambhi. Huh? That general devotee cannot understand. First I read these sloks of Srimad Bhagavatam and I read the commentary of Sila Sanatan Goswami, Jeeva Goswami, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, here, there, but he could not understand what is the meaning. By chance I read this book. The explanation done by Bhakti Vinota Thakur, given by Sarup Dhamma. I easily I understood. So he explained first slope and told that in this light you should explain all this slope. So the point, importance of this book is what? That Sarup Damodar has guided him. And he had told the first slope. And he has told how to explain Srimad Bhagavatam. So there are so many Vyakhaka commentators of Srimad Bhagavat. But they cannot be like Sarup Damodar. You should know. Who is he? Dalita did. His expression is more highest. So I want to begin something from this book. I have told about the object, aim and object of sadhan bhajan. Gopi prem, more than that, Radhika prem, more than something, Manjari go, everything. Somewhat you know this thing. But we should try to follow the process that Rupa Goswami has told in Bhakti Samit Sindhu, beginning from Adav Guru Shri. Uh, Guru Brahmesh, Guru Padasya, Vishambhaina Seva, Siksha, Diksha and all these things. Ten items for Guru and then other things. So we should also begin from here, Guru. Eight your basement, Anusilam. We should explain and hear this Bhagavatar Kumarishi Mala, what he has told. One Kirtan. to understand, no interest in that, or Jasoda Maya bonded Krishna, Krishna Mahajwip is not a story, but big, some Siddhant are there. <coughs> so you should try to carefully hear and understand. You can make any question if you are not understand. <coughs> Mero Radha Ramana Giridhari Giridhari Shyam Banavari
First of all, and explain the first flow of Srimad Bhagavatam and what Srinasarup Dhamodha explained to Srila Bhakti in Nodha. First of all, we should know what is Advay Gyan Parta? What is Advay? Vadanti Tattva Vidas Tattam Jaji Gyanam Advayam. So what is Advay Tattva? Yes. Timirandasya Gyanam Janashalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Vancha Kalpatalu Pyascha Kripa Sindhu Eva Patitanam Havane Vyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namo In the Srimad Bhagavatam in the first canto, second chapter, Srila Vyasadev, uh, Sutta Goswami, has given the shloka, Vadanti tat tatva vidas tatvam yaj jnanam advayam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavan iti shabdyate. So, here in this shloka, <coughs> he is explaining what is the absolute tattva, the param tattva, huh? vadanti tat tattva vidas? Who is explaining this supreme absolute truth? Those persons who are called tattva vida. That means they are the knowers. They have realized this absolute truth, absolute substance. And what is their description of this absolute substance? He is saying vadanti. They have explained it to be uh, Yaj Jnanam Advayam hmm? Vadanti Tat Tattva Vidas Tattvam Yaj Jnanam Advayam Here the term Advay Jnan is used Advay means non-dual Dvay means two And Advay means not two or, in other words, one. So, Advai Gyan. Uh, this absolute truth, this absolute supreme substance, is a non-dual, conscious entity, con conscious being, uh, complete Gyan, knowledge. And it is non-dual, meaning that there is only this one supreme absolute tattva. And there are not any other besides this. So the whole existence of this material cosmic manifestation and everything that exists within the entire creation is actually this one absolute supreme substance, Advai Gyan Paratattva, supreme absolute non-dual truth. But yet we see within this material world we see so many differences and varieties of objects within this world. All the different entities within this world. Living entities and non-living, animate and inanimate objects within this world. And there are so many varieties, unlimited millions and trillions of varieties of objects within this world. So it does not appear that it is all one. It appears that it is very different. But yet, everything within existence is described by those who have seen the Absolute Truth as Advai Gyan, uh, non-dual knowledge. But they have explained that that Supreme Absolute Truth from whom everything that we see has emanated is viewed by 
these seers of the Absolute Truth in three different features. Brahmaiti, Paramatmaiti, Bhagavan Iti Shabdyate. They have described that that one non-dual Absolute Truth from whom everything has come, Janmad Yasya Yataha, as Gurudev, Srila Gurudev is going to describe the first slok of the Srimad Bhagavatam, it begins with these words. Huh? Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Janmad Yasya Yataha. That means the source, the absolute source from which everything has come, everything has emanated. So what is the nature of that absolute truth? Huh? Bhagavan Iti Shabdhyate. The terminologies are used to describe that absolute truth. Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. Although he is one, but yet he has three aspects, three features. Brahman, Brahmeti, meaning that just as we see the sun in the sky, we can use a material example the rishis have given to understand. The sun in the sky has so many extended rays coming from it. So these rays are the very sun itself. In one sense we can say the sun rays are the sun. Because the sun rays are emanating from the sun and they are in quality, they are none different than the sun. So in the same way the Supreme Absolute Truth has the transcendental aspect called Brahman which means that he uh, the supreme Advai Gyan that supreme conscious being he is all pervading throughout his entire creation he himself in the form of his Brahma Jyoti like rays transcendental rays and Paramatma he is not only all pervading throughout his creation but just like the sun is all pervading throughout the universe, yet we also see, we also experience individually <clears throat> that we can feel the sun on our own head. Or if you put so many pots of water, and each pot can reflect the sun, the sun globe itself. So in the same way, Paramatma means that that Advai Gyan, Paratatva, is personally present everywhere not only in his uh, non-dual uh, aspect, nirvishesh, without any varieties, the Brahma Jyoti effulgence, but also he is present personally uh, within every single atom within the creation and within the heart of every living being within the creation. So that is called Paramatma, the transcendental super soul, supreme soul, present everywhere. But, uh, in the same way as the sun globe is situated in one place within the sky, in, within the universe. And from that one source, the sun globe, all these other features extend. In the same way that Advai Gyan Paratattva, he is situated uh, as Bhagavan. The supreme absolute personality of Godhead who has transcendental form, qualities, paraphernalia, dham, associates. So just as within the sun globe uh, there is a personality known as the sun god <clears throat> who is dominating the entire planet and whose energies are the very existence of the sun and the sun rays. So in the same way the absolute truth is also seen as the supreme independent personality of Godhead, supreme absolute Bhagavan hmm? and he is described by the Rishis Aishwaryasya Samagrasya Viryasya Yashashashriya Jnana Vairagya Yoschaiva Tannam Bhaga Itingina that he has transcendental opulences and qualities especially six in number Aishwarya complete absolute wealth and power Virya complete potencies and shaktis and energies unlimited parasya shaktir vivid hai vishruyate in many many varieties of potencies he has unlimited varieties aishwaryasya samagrasya viryasya yashasa shriya he has complete fame yasha 
His glories and His fame extend everywhere. Shriya, He has complete beauty. Uh, he is transcendental form and His transcendental qualities are extremely attractive. And there is no one and nothing within His creation as beautiful as Him. He possesses this opulence of beauty in full, fullness. Viryasya uh, yashasha shriyam jnana vairagya chaiva. He has all knowledge of everything. Every single nook and corner of His entire creation at every single moment He knows everything everywhere. And vairagya he is also transcendentally detached from everything. He exists in Himself, completely independent, swarat, from His creation. So this Divine Supreme Personality of Godhead, Bhagavan, uh, is the transcendental source and the topmost limit of the Paratattva. But those who have realized the, the Absolute Truth have realized the Absolute Truth in these three features. Similarly, just like when those who are observing a mountain from a distance, if they are very far away, oh, the mountain may appear just like some hazy form in the distance. Then if they approach the mountain closer and closer, then they will see that, oh, the mountain has very specific shape, very specific colors, and there are some different uh, shapes uh, upon the mountain itself also. But then when he finally comes directly to the mountain, he sees that, oh, here on the surface of the mountain are very beautiful forests, very beautiful forest animals. So many entities are there. So in the same way, those who realize the absolute truth from somewhat of a distance, they only realize the Brahman aspect of the absolute truth. Those who come a little bit closer, they realize the Paramatma aspect of the Supreme Truth. And those who come the closest of all, they can realize that the Supreme Paratattva, Advai Gyan Paratattva, is a transcendental divine personality of Godhead. And they understand Him in His personal feature. So the great sages, the topmost realized souls within the universe, they have proclaimed by their transcendental realization, such as Lord Brahmaji Himself, when He had this realization of Bhagavan Sri Krishna in the beginning of the creation, then He composed these prayers of Brahma Samhita. And He described that Absolute Truth as Ishwara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vikraha Anadir Adir Govinda Sarvakara. Sundar Gopal, can you explain something in three days? Very good. Oma Gyanati Virandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshudun Militanjina Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Vansha Kalpa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhubhya Evacha Patitanam Pavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Nama Nama This particular topic is sometimes a little bit challenging and one may wonder what is the need to consider it carefully? The reason why this subject matter is so important and forms the very essence of Srimad Bhagavatam is because it's an explanation of the nature of reality. Without being able to understand what this world is about and whether anything exists beyond this world it will be impossible to ascertain the purpose of life. What is the ultimate goal of life? What is existence for? So, this particular question has been considered for many thousands of years by different persons. Some, for instance, think that there is no such thing as an absolute truth. We're bound in a world of relativity. 
Others accept that there is an absolute truth, but that this absolute truth is impersonal. So for instance, physicists today, they consider that the only absolute are the laws of physics, which are impersonal. Still others, they accept that there is an absolute truth, and that absolute truth is endowed with personality. But, that that absolute truth is many, not one. What does Srimad Bhagavatam say? Vadanti tat tatva vidas tatvam yajjnanam advayam. Tatvam refers to paratatva, the absolute truth. What are the characteristics of that paratatva? Jnanam advayam. Jnanam means conscious. This indicates clearly that the absolute truth has personality. Advayam non-dual. We can think of non-dual as non-plural because Srimad Bhagavatam explains that this absolute truth is not two, but it's not also not three, not four, not many. In other words, it is one. But what exactly does this mean? It means that everything that exists in this world or beyond our perception has no existence separate or independent of the Supreme Lord. This is the meaning of non-dual. Now, if you consider this idea carefully, certain objections may come to mind. Srila Jiva Goswami discusses these in his, in his Sad Sandarbha, particularly in Tattva Sandarbha. The first one, Svagat Bhed. The Sanskrit word is not so important. It's the concept that you need to that we need to understand. Svagat Bhed is the objection that if the absolute truth is endowed with personality, then there must be some plurality or some difference making many rather than just one. This idea comes from the fact from our experience in this world. In this world, we are, we're only accustomed to seeing and experiencing material form. And as soon as you have material form, you have plurality. For instance, if I cut my hair, the hair becomes detached from my body and is a separate entity, separate from myself. Even more so, my very self is actually separate from who I really am. Because the human body dies, all bodies simply perish after some time, but the soul remains. So these difficulties with material form give rise to this potential, to this objection, that if God is a person, then that absolute truth cannot be one. However, Srila Jiva Goswami explains that the form of Sri Krishna, the absolute truth, is not material. Om Satchidananda Rupaya Krishnaya. This is declared in the Vedas. The form of the Absolute Truth is made of Sat, Chit, and Ananda. Raso Vaisaha. It is the essence, it is the, a condensed form of sweetness. So, to explain this idea, Srila Jiva Goswami gives the analogy of a figurine made of sugar. If you like, you can think of a, of a chocolate angel. The whole angel is made of chocolate, one substance. It's made of sweetness from beginning to from top to bottom. And yet it has form. So Sri Krishna has form, qualities, variety. But it is made of one spiritual substance. Raso Vaisaha, condensed rasa. The second objection that may come to mind is we see that the absolute truth is sometimes we see Krishna, but sometimes various other expansions such as Ram, Nishinga, Varaha, Matsya and so on. These different manifestations of the absolute truth appear quite different from each other. They look different for one. So one may think, well here there is variety. There's no, there's plurality. Here, 
Shilajiva Goswami tries to uh, Shilajiva Goswami explains or refutes this objection by giving the analogy of the moon there is only one moon but at various phases that moon will appear different sometimes it won't sometimes it will look as if there is no moon sometimes it will be full and at various points in between it will be either waxing or waning but we know that it is, it is the same moon. So also these various avatars and expansions of Sri Krishna, they display certain particular qualities that exist fully in, this, in the Absolute Truth, Sri Krishna. The third possible objection is called Bijati Abed. This is maybe the objection that would immediately come to mind um, come to the mind of anyone considering this topic. It is the objection that if you look around you, you see so many different things that appear to be separate from each other and that appear to be separate from Krishna or the Absolute Truth. We see different living entities. We see um, the material world, which is energy in flux and which manifests as various objects around us. These things appear to be separate from each other, to be separate from us, and to our material minds appear to be separate from Krishna. Here Srila Jiva Goswami explains that the first point that must be considered is that everything in this creation and everything beyond this material creation is at all times fully under the control of the Supreme Absolute Truth. Not a blade of grass moves without the, the will of the Supreme Lord. Also, it may be said that if two objects share the same origin and their functions do not conflict with each other, then they may be considered to be one. In this world, it may appear sometimes that there is conflict. But from an ultimate vantage point, there is actually no conflict at all. Everything is perfectly directed by the Supreme Lord. There appears to be only there only appears to be conflict when we see that certain things don't cater perfectly for our sense enjoyment, and this gives us the idea that there is conflict in this world, when in fact everything is orchestrated beautifully and perfectly according to the sweet will of the Supreme Lord. <coughs> imagine, imagine if all manifestations from one's own body were perfectly under one's control at all times. Imagine if during a kirtan you were dancing and a bead of sweat fell from your forehead or from your arm. If you could stop that bead of sweat from hitting the ground, you could make it turn around and come straight back at you and enter into the pore of your body, of your arm or your head. You would have full control of that bead of sweat and it could be considered that it's non different from you. This is not the case with us, but it is the case with the Supreme Lord. Countless universes like beads of sweat emanate from all the pores of his body. In fact, they, they come out, they expand. So many wonderful creations happen within those beads of sweat. And then, by the will of the Supreme Lord, they come back again and enter again into His body. <clears throat> Very deep subject, but you should know, even something. We see, in this world, unlimited jivas, unlimited pieces of life. Also, in jiva jagat, oh, unnumberable, innumerable jivas, you cannot count. Their nature, their all these things, we cannot imagine. And in transcendental world, Nanda Baba, Jashoda Maya, 
Dham, Shidham, Subal, Madhumangal, all so many sakhas. And also, millions of gopis are there. But in here it is, has been told, Advaigyan, only one I told they are not separate there, there is no separate existence eh? independent existence no all depends on Krishna in transcendental world all expansion by his own Shakti Chit Shakti Antaranga Shakti Jivas coming from all Jiva Shakti. And in this Maya Jagat, so many varieties by Maya that we see. But any of them had no independent existence. And that is called Advaita. Now, Patimanon Thakur, doing pranam jat kripaya pravitto asmin granth sangrahe tam gaur parsad bande damo darsho and praying to sarup damo who has inspired me to inspire me to write all these things to make a garland of shrimad bhagavatam first is spelling janma darsha jata Anvay Adi Taratascha, this thing. They have explained <coughs> Krishna is one without second. And his Shakti power is one without second. That Shakti is called Antaranga Shakti. Ladini Shakti or Chit Shakti. Different names, but only one Shakti. Tatasa Shakti and Ji Maya Shakti are not different. But when Chit Shakti, Ladini Shakti, and Taranga Shakti, he is transformed into millions of Jivas. Unlimited jiva. Then it is called Tatasasa. And when this material world manifesting, then that very Shakti is called according to his function, Maya Shakti. And in this world we are in Maya and there is prominency of Maya. So we think that Maya Shakti is here. If we will tell Maya Shakti for Radhika, oh then something misunderstanding may come. But actually Maya is called Sarp Shakti Antaranga Shakti. Maya means power, Shakti. So how this world came? Janva Dasya. So many meanings, but in general meaning he is telling. Sarup Shakti, Antaranga Shakti of Krishna. When he creates Anuji, not creates, but he is transferred into Jiva Shakti, then he is called Tatasa Jiva Shakti. Who? That Shakti, Sarup Shakti, by function. And Chaya Prakash, Baranga Maya Shakti, like shadow, shadow of Sarup Shakti. Oh, he creates all these things. Then she is called. Then there are so many Shakti? No. One Shakti. By function, it has. Then Shakti and Shakti Man too, Krishna and his power. There is duality, no origin. They are Shakti, Shakti, Mato, Aveda. No duality. 
only one. So, here Jiva Shakti, it turns fire into Jaiva Jaga. And Maya Shakti in Anvaya, what Anvaya? Dialect. He, Maya Shakti he has created, manifested all this world. A variety of, of through Ling, Sarir and nature and so many things. But one thing very wonderful, strange, Jeev, part of and parcel of Krishna. He cheat. Concept. Concept. How it is possible that he will be binded by Maya? How? She is more superior than Achit. So it is not possible, but wonderful. Oh, by this illusory Maya. Brahma, even Shankar, they can be what? We cannot, uh, anyone cannot map uh, shakta hai gaharai. Oh, it's deepness of Krishna. So, by this illusory Maya, she has covered the soul with his thul and ling sari to gross sari. Though we are not this body, but now what thinking? Oh, I am this body. So this is wonderful thing and it is due to the Shakti of Krishna. Why it can become? Krishna has created or his Anu Chaitanya Iji. He had given them a very valuable thing. That is called independence. Independence. And told them, if you will properly use, then you will come to me and serve me and be happy. But if you will misuse, then I will give you punishment. So we should try not to misuse you use our independence, but really we are dead and for this we are in our prison. <coughs> Purush, Prakriti, Mahatattva. There are twenty-eight tattva. Not separate existence. But these are, in this, some are my, in this, eight, twenty-eights, Gyan, Gyan Jiva Tattva, who knows, independence is there. Jeev does not know anything, how created this world. Covered with Maya. <coughs> so, Krishna knows everything. So, he, he has word is Abhigya. He knows everything. What Brahma, Shankar and other God knows. He is served by his Sarup Shakti, Radhika. 
and that is why he is Purna, Purnam Adha, Purnam Vidam, Purnatha Purnam Uchyate. Krishna is infinite. And he is always complete. And Swara, there is none to control him. Quite independent. He has mercifully inspired or manifested Adi Kabi, that is Brahma. It may be told Sukhadeva Goswami. It may be told so many things. But here, Brahma. And what he told in Chatusloki Bhagavat Srimad Bhagavatam. And by his mercy, he realized Brahma, all these things. And then he manifested Vedas, unlimited knowledge. <coughs> in this Ved Gyan, oh, very learned persons also, they become bewildered. They cannot understand. Here Sarga. Sarga means Srishti, creation. Three kinds of creation. Chit Sarga, Jeeva Sarga, Jada Sarga. Three. Chit Sarga, transcendental world. Beginning from Baikunt, and Golo Bandavan. Nand Baba Jasoda Maya, Sakha, Gopi. Their trees, creepers, mountain, rivers, everything are Sachidan. Jatkinchit Tirn Gulmaki Katamukam Goste Samastangita Sarvanand Mukunda Daitang Lila Nukulam Param Shastre Ryu Muhur Muhur Nishtang Kami Jancha. Brahma Deva Pishas Pihantato Sarvamaya. Everything is transcendent. Here he is giving the example, something, kinchi, not fully. In this world there is no example of Chit Sarga, transcendental world, nothing, but something. Agni, Agni means fire. Have you seen fire? Fire? Have you seen? I have not seen fire. <laughs> when fuel is given, then flames and fuel and some dark the smoke is seen. The smoke is fire? Or woods are fire? Our flames are fire. What is fire? Fire is Shakti. Power. You can receive. So, like transcendental things are like fire. Sometimes Krishna comes. We see. Even Vrindavan descends. Fortunate she was there. She. Like fire, take a their slide. Matches. Or two stones. Or two wood. By Dharsan. By stone, by stone, fire will come. So, by any reason, Especially, Bhakta Vinodartham, Krishna comes only to please his devotees. And so many things he does. So this is the example of fire for them. 
So, Agni always alakshit, not sin. But sometimes, by any reason, it is sin. Chit Vyapa transcendental. In transcendental, Golok Vrindavan always there. But in this world, like fire comes sometimes with Krishna, like Ramachandra comes, like Nishim Dev sometimes comes. Time to time comes. And Jiva Sarga, the example, oh, some little, like water. That is fire, that is, Jiva are like water. Too cold, then it will freeze and become ice, then become hot, and if you throw, fracture will come, yeah. injury. And you can, if you are so thirst, thirsty, then you can, very sweet. You know? So when it is hot, then its naturality, Goes away. Nature goes away. It's become hard. And when it is in nature, own nature, then it is liquid. So Jeev now, <coughs> oh, he transcendentally Nitya's king of Krishna, Jivarasupa and Nitya Gras. And he is always serving Krishna and he is happy there. But Krishna has given him independence and he, when he misuses, then Maya at once comes and throws it out from Krishna very far away and then gets these two bodies, cross and shatra, two bodies. And then he thinks that, oh, I am or oh, this body. And the happiness and the suffering somebody, oh, things mine. But really, when we will go forward, we will see there is no bandhan. There, there is really no mukti. Jeev is mukta always. But he thinks like that. And without the mercy of Krishna, without mercy of first guru, he cannot come out. And Jar Sarga, the creation of this Jar, is like Murtika. First Agni, then water, and then Murtika, the earth. Earth is there, but if you make jaw, colors, picture, you can bring water from there. And if that is not given in foil. If you will bring then nothing will come. Understand? So, <coughs> from earth, so many things in this world. Oh, this is also earth, prominent earth. In what we see in this world, earth is prominent. Though there is water, fire and all other things, but less, this, this is most. But by the achinta shakti, power of Krishna, sometimes they are nashwar, paritable, perishable. But they appear like or satya, Huh? Permanent. Permanent. Like permanent. Permanent. Like permanent. Permanent. If a jar maker makes a ghat, jar, pot, but it has not given to fire, it is raw, 
And if you bring water, what will be? But if it is given in fire and it is now a reddish light, oh, then you can. But really it is other. Comparison. Comparison for this. That from earth, earth, so many pots, oh, you know, uh, Gold, <coughs> copper, all are from earth. Koala, koala, gold, all are from earth. <coughs> so, this is the example of this creation, Maya, Maya creation. Krishna. Is doing everything in super, uh, transcendental world. Also in Jeev Shakti. Also here by his Shakti. Uh, but even he is separate from me. There is some existence. Krishna. And he is very lovely, very sweet. He has a very attractive, his beautiful form. And where? In Go Vrindavan. That Param Satya, Satyam Parama Bhimahi. That Krishna, with his Sarva Shakti, Kaya Bhivap Shakti, he is always there and sometimes manifest in this world. So, yes, they will doing pranam, sattam parma jivahi. Today, I am finishing here. I will explain more <coughs> daily, daily. Though this subject is so deep, but you should try to hear. If you will take a bath, all water goes no. But something comes. <laughs> something will come. And that will be enough for you. And in this creation, there are several things. And that is from earth. So we should not think that all are different. From one chit, Jiva Shakti, uh, Maya Shakti, for this example. Now, hmm. huh? Nanda Gopal Prabhu will speak something in school and so, my blessing to you that you collected so uh, in good way that all should know the free life and how he did sadhan in Manjari Mode and how he preached, especially he went to Javanna or Mahaprabhu and he missed the darshan. He also missed the darshan of Kadadhar Pandi. <coughs> then he went weeping to Vrindavan. And here he saw, he heard, Sanatan Goswami has left this world. And recently, Rup Goswami came. Then he took shelter in the Lord's feet of Jiva Goswami. And how he was initiated by Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Gunmanjari. And then they were friend by Jeev Goswami, all Siddhan. And he sent with his whole books for Bengal. Because they were written in Sanskrit, but Beng Bengali literature. Script. Script. But in the mid way, 
Oh, Dhir Hamdir, how he stole away his books, then very lamented. He sent Nartam and Shamanand to Bengal to preach, and I will discover the books. And how a reciting was of what is going on. In the end, Sivasacharya told, May I tell something? And then, King told, yes, you can do. And then he recited Brahmar Geet. Only Brahmar Geet. And then he explained in so such a way wonderful that all began to be hearing the mood of Radhika. And then King gave his everything in the Lord's feet of Srivas Pandit. He took initiation. Then king told that I want to donate some dakshina for this. Then what donation I may give to you? Oh, then he told that my books have been stolen. You should help to recover them. Oh, I have stolen. <laughs> I know, I thought that hey, these are treasures. Precious jewels. Oh, Sri Master, oh yes, surely, more than precious gold or precious chintamani or anything these books are. And he brought them, and at once he becomes he was very happy, and he initiated them, and then he came to thank God with all these books, and how he did Manjari Upasana, you should know. We can follow all these things, all these books, these stories have been given in Bhakti Ratnakar, Shamananda life, Narottam Thakur life, and they are very expert to collect all these things. And in brief, they have given to you. Eh? And Rama, Ramachandra Kaviraj. He initiated. How he was, he married a lady and then while we were killing. He was going and he saw a saint in the midway. That was Srinivas Acharya. And then he went to do pranam. And when he, when he went there and did pranam, then Srinivas Acharya also. Foolish, foolish. <laughs> Allah of Allah. How foolish that uh, you bought a Nagini poisonous Cobra. black serpent and you are taking in your neck like a garland to be happy, but this she will bite you and you will die for a star. Here are real life. Why he realized past so critics? And at once he told, Oh, go back to your home. And he said, And he took full center. Also, his brother was Gobinda Das. Once he, wa he was Upasak of Kali, Kali, Kali Devi, you know, Kali of Shankar. But he became so sick, he was about to die. He was praying so much Kali, but even he was going to die. His elder brother Ramchandra came to him and told, You have worshipped Kali for your whole life. But she cannot save you. Please, my brother, you should worship Krishna. And you will be okay. You should take Vaishnavi Diksha. And you will recover. Oh, he gave Vaishnavi Diksha. And in very few days, couple of days, he became okay. Then he wrote a poem. Bhaja Hure Mana, Sri Nanda 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 Nanda
Sun. 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 Sun.